Hello dear students, welcome back. Today we'll be talking about another important topic of principles of economics. And today's topic is different branches of branches of economics. Right? We, we also call these the branches of the economics or in other words we also call these this topic as different levels of economics, right? You can consider both of the terms, either branches or levels of the economics. So when we talk about this topic, it has got three different levels or three different stages. Number one, first one is descriptive economics. So according to this branch of economics, descriptive economics only describes the facts and figures. So here the data is collected regarding any economic problem or we can say that facts and figures are collected and described in this branch of economics and such economics branch of economics is considered as descriptive economics. For example, if you say unemployment is very high in the country, right? Now this is a problem. When we collect the data and describe the data, for example, unemployment in the cities or urban areas in the rural areas, uh, uh, how many people are unemployed like on the basis of the gender, male, female, and uh, unemployment in different regions of the country. When we collect the data and describe the data, that is considered as descriptive economics, right? So on the basis of this data collection or facts and figures, Another branch, the second level of the economics is economic theory. Now this branch of the economics usually talks about the relationship. I'm giving you the perfect word. And this word is the relationship between variables. This branch of the economics talks about relationship between variables. Right? So look at this, in first branch of the economics, we collected the data and facts and figures. I gave you the example, unemployment in the country. So when we talk about unemployment, right, we said unemployment is high in descriptive economics. Now here in economic theory, you need to describe the relationship. We need to understand why this unemployment is high. For example, one of the reasons can be due to low government spending right now these are the two different variables unemployment government spending when government spending is quite low unemployment becomes higher or unemployment increases right so we need to understand this relationship between the both it means unemployment is depending on the government spending this is considered as economic theory in which you are going to uh, explain or analyze the different variables of that economic problem and the third one we have economic policy or in other terms we also call it policy economics right now we reach towards the problem right now we need a solution so policy economics or economic policy this third branch or third stage or third level of economics gives us the solution of this problem for example what can be the solution it's quite simple. Unemployment was due to less government spending. So government spending should be increased in order to come out of this problem like unemployment to create the jobs, number one. Number two, foreign direct investment, FDI, should be increased. What is foreign direct investment? Government need to provide such environment to global companies so that they should come directly here and investment, invest in a country. Right? So that is foreign direct investment. It has a huge impact in job creation. For example, recently, CPAC of the China has created a lot of jobs in the country. Right, so these are the solutions. So economic policy gives us the solution of the economic problem, which was presented in the economic theory. So dear students, I hope you understand today's concept. So uh, like this video, subscribe the channel for our coming videos. Thank you very much.